No show. No show. No show. So no shows are people that uh, make a reservation and they didn't show up. You said you're going to be here at six o'clock and you didn't bother to tell anybody that you're not coming. If they save those seats for you and you don't show up, that is potentially lost revenue. That affects everybody down the chain. The customers think, why is this table sitting empty? The servers are like, I could have had somebody sat there. We could have been bringing in revenue. You couldn't pick up the phone and say that you aren't coming into dinner tonight. It can hurt your feelings, you know? It's like you threw a party and somebody said they were coming and they didn't come. A couple of weeks ago, I had baseball tickets in a suite and canceled going because of this 25 top reservation. When we called day of to confirm the reservation, they ended up not being able to come at all. So that was really, really frustrating. I love those shows. <laughs> In our restaurant, we have a ticketing system and they purchase ahead of time. So if they don't show up, they don't get any money back. It's free money. <laughs> if a staff member doesn't show up for their shift, that would be a no-show. You didn't call anybody and you're not here. Well, you know, generally they can do that once or twice and then they're fired. But it does happen. Usually there's a really good excuse. Like I was in the slammer last night and I didn't call my work for my one call. If you go to Australia in the kitchen, you will hear flipping a sickie or chuck a sickie, calling sick and taking the day off when you're absolutely fine. Your friends call you, cousin called you, hey mate, are you going out tonight? You go, yeah, yeah, mate, I'm coming, I'm going to chuck a sickie. Call sick and then go out, do whatever, barbecue, beach, surfing. It's very common. Wow.